All right, so, so the second thing I want to talk about is really OKRs. And now we made a ton of progress this week, and I'm actually going to finalize it tomorrow uh, uh, on OKRs for the GoAppKeepass project. Um, before there was before this week, there was a big question of like who is focused on what, and like what people don't care about, like what specific areas of work are even important to get attention. And so this week, uh, we got the chance to bank our heads together, not literally, no one got no hurt. Um, and, and we kind of like identified three main areas that need a lot of attention. And, and need a lot of attention as in, they will be good to get attention this quarter because it will set us, uh, it will prepare us for the 2019 priorities. So uh, one of the areas of attention is really like the data exchange layer, bit swap and so on. Uh, the other one is like data store and pinning and GC. The third one is providers, and so the providing service and how to efficiently provide information to the network without smashing the network. Uh, we started by uh, we started this process some weeks ago, where everyone, uh, after the retrospective, kind of got the opportunity to uh, like communicate what they think it's important to focus on. And, and this week, we got to be on the same table refresh our perspectives on these priorities and, and then identify which sub-teams within this very large team, which is the GoIPFS team, could handle these priorities. And uh, one of the things that was very productive is like it was very clear that like not everyone had full context about these subsystems or like these areas, but that's okay. It's actually a great opportunity for us to like do a lot of knowledge transfer, especially that we are here. And so we have had a lot of discussions just on each of these focus areas so that people can go home and more prepared uh, to, to tackle these challenges. One of the big goals for uh, this quarter, and that's something that we want to make sure to put on the OKRs, is really that by the end of the quarter, we feel confident that like when we talk about the subsystem of IPFS and we need some opinion, some review, uh, we have more than one person that can give us that review. So it should be someone else other than Steven. Um, and so Steven will provide like a lot of help during the quarter of just like dropping knowledge to get everyone to level up and like to really own different parts of the code. The other thing that we also uh, related to this on uh, OKRs is we got the chance to check in on the IPLB OKRs as well. Uh, and so Eric, uh, who is part of the Go Core Dev team, um, is now clear that like he's going to focus specifically on IPLB stuff of the whole Go uh, set of packages. So it was clear before that we had like a lead peer-to-peer -peer team within the Go for that team. The IPLB team was kind of like merged within uh, Go IPFS, but now we are getting a little bit more clarity of like, okay, there is a set of goals specific to IPLB um, that are important for both Go IPFS and just IPFS and IPFS in general. Uh, and, and we have updated the IPLB spreadsheets to explicitly describe those. So you, you can also check as a result of this week, this spreadsheet to see which new peer results Eric got. And yes, I think this is it. Any questions on OKRs? Did I forget about anything? No? Sounds good. Cool. Uh, I'll just close my... To a quick uh, to my OKR presentation, one thing that I wanted to get captured but I forgot is that um, yeah, like OKRs are kind of like you to this group again. Uh, and one thing that I got a lot of as a question was, okay, but like what, what does it mean for all the other things I was working on at the moment? And so what we decided as a team was like to focus on a set of priorities uh, and like to measure progress on those priorities through OKRs. Uh, and we'll check, it at mid, check in at mid-quarter and then check in at the end of the quarter and see how far we've gotten. Um, but like when we plan OKRs, we really are planning for 60% of our time. And so um, what it means is like you still have 40% to put out all the fires that appear that we don't, we can just not predict. And also to like use that time for the things that you really care about. Uh, and, and you do get to report to the team the things that you invested your time and that they were successful. Um, at the end of the quarter, we run a retrospective where everyone gets like a small section or uh, can be as long as you have items to add a clip. Uh, which is kind of like the humble brag session, which is okay, I also invested time on this and now it's done and it's great. Um, and so yeah, don't, don't feel that like you are now constrained from only working on your cares. You definitely 
communicated to the team that you're going to focus on those and people are going to use those as a reference point of what they can expect. They don't know about the other things that you are planning to do on your 40 percentile. Uh, and so definitely commit like commit the 60 percentile, make sure that like those get done. Um, but also use a little bit of other time to invest on things that you really care about, like clever hacks that you have in mind that you wanted to try on, features, like whatever. And, uh, and like at the end of the quarter, we'll have a chance to recognize and celebrate those as well. Well, that's what I wanted to add. Um, hope it makes sense.